I matched with a Tinder profile that had no pictures. We chatted a bit. Smart and funny, so I asked for a date. She said yes. I'm not expecting much, probably 400 pounds. But she answered the door, this little strawberry blonde with a head full of curls and all the right curves in all the right places. We exchanged our real names, and I asked what she did for a living. She says, Sunday school teacher. Now I ain't never had a Christian girl, but I'm open-minded about it, so I'm driving her to the second best restaurant I can think of. I pull out a joint of my best weed and ask if she wants an appetite. She says, heavens no, what would I tell my Sunday school children? Well, some people smoke and some don't, so I thought nothing of it. We go to the restaurant, and I order a steak, and she gets the lobster. I ordered the second most expensive bottle of wine on the menu. But when the waitress brings it, she says she doesn't drink. My mind is blowing. You don't drink? Heavens no. What would I tell my Sunday school children? We have a good time, laughing at each other's jokes, but I know this is a bust as I drink up that overpriced bottle by myself. As I'm driving her home, I pass a cheap hotel, and figuring I have nothing to lose, I ask her, want to get a room and knock boots? She says, I thought you'd never ask. I'm like, really? What will you tell your Sunday school children? She said the same thing I tell them every week. You don't have to drink and smoke to have a good time. <laughs> a guy stuck his head into a barber shop and asked, how long before I can get a haircut? The barber looked around the shop full of customers and said, about two hours. The guy left. A few days later, the same guy stuck his head in the door and asked, how long before I can get a haircut? The barber looked around at the shop and said, about three hours. The guy left. A week later, the same guy stuck his head in the shop and asked, how long before I can get a haircut? The barber looked around the shop and said, about an hour and a half. The guy left. The barber turned to his friend and said, Hey, Bob, do me a favor, follow him and see where he goes. He keeps asking how long he has to wait for a haircut, but he never comes back. A little while later, Bob returned to the shop, laughing hysterically. The barber asked, So, where does he go when he leaves? Bob looked up, wiped the tears from his eyes, and said, Your house. <laughs> We put a lot of effort into making you smile, so please subscribe to me for new jokes, stay happy!